New Jersey, a youth basketball coach is in big trouble tonight. He faces porn charges involving children. News Force Kim Bufa, live in Walwick with that story, Ken. Well, I can tell you right now, he worked here for years, and these coaches who also work here said so they had no idea about what was going on. But according to authorities, this man was sending more than a dozen, we're talking about 50, child pornography images from his home computer. This is 23-year-old Joseph Rosella, and according to Passaic County Sheriff Richard Burdnick, a two-month-long investigation unveiled the Hawthorne man had sent 50 images of child pornography through a social media website called Tumblr. And when he wasn't sharing illegal images, he worked here at Hoop Heaven as a youth basketball coach. This case has nothing to do with Hoop Heaven or any kids that will go to Hoop Heaven or, or from Hoop Heaven. Unfortunately, it was an employee who worked here and he was caught doing something wrong. Hoop Heaven co-owner Mitchell Storch says Frisella worked here for years and in high school even spent time as a scorekeeper for games. Frisella also recently passed two different background checks. We've never had any complaints about him. Um, he did his job and uh, you know, there was no nothing that stood out. Authorities say Frisella sent the child pornography images from his home computer. And officials told Storch no children or minors from this athletic camp were involved. Storch says the news came as a surprise and he fired Frisella and informed parents as soon as he heard. We were totally shocked to find us out like when he didn't show up for work last week and suddenly we were told he was arrested for doing uh, child pornography on his computer. Now, as Frisella faces multiple charges, including possessing and distributing child pornography, those who frequent the complex say they're disturbed by the news. I mean, you're working with children, so I mean, that's definitely a big situation and a big problem. Now, although this man has been arrested and he's facing charges, authorities say their investigation is not over. They confiscated more of his computers and they're looking for more evidence. We're in Waldwick, Ken Bufa, News for New York. Well, if you notice.